Good morning, everybody. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Thank you so much for taking the time to hang out with me this morning. So it's been a while since I played the Animal Crossing games, and I am finally back on it. I have the bug. And so this morning, I wanted to do some artwork of the Nook family. So let's just get right into it. Well hello, thank you again everybody for being here this morning and welcome to voiceover Katie. So as you can see I've got some sketches up in my sketchbook on the top left and it's been a very very long time since I played Animal Crossing. Actually if you're in the UK I'm pretty sure that all the switches have been out of stock for maybe a year at this point and we came across one the other day and I just couldn't help myself. So I may be on like day six of my island. And for anybody who's interested, peaches, of course. I have lots of peaches on my island and I'm very excited about that. I thought if I was going to do some sort of animal crossing art, I guess I had to start with the the Nook family, right? I mean, they are iconic and he does just want all your money. So this here is Tom Nook. Um, so you can see his ears. I mean, I know they look a bit weird, but I mean, he's a raccoon, right? And if you're gonna make a raccoon look like a human, I think he needs the big ears. So here are the big ears. I've also kept him bald because, well, does Tom look have any hair? I mean, when you look at Isabel, she has her ears, but then she also has her hair on the top of her head. So I figured Tom look is old and bald. So he's old and bald. I also gave him a beard because he's a raccoon. He has hair somewhere, right? Oh, and you can't forget his pudgy little tummy. So I guess I want to apologise at this point for having my iPad so close to the edge of the screen. I, I didn't realise I couldn't really see my screen. And so you sort of see me drawing, you see me half drawing. Um, I do fix this in the second section of this, but we are kind of stuck with watching me half draw on my iPad at this point. So if you play Animal Crossing, I'm really interested to know what your beginner tips are for me. Now I played it on the Wii, I loved it on the Wii, and I played it on the original DS, um, and that was a while ago when I was little. Um, and yeah, this game is actually really, really different. I can't believe how much control you have over your island, and about the villagers that come to your island. Um, if you're interested, my beginner villagers were Billy, Little Goat, and Renee. And they were both lovely, so I, I think I might keep them. And then after a while, obviously, you then get the option to build three houses. And so I built those, and my first three villagers on the island were... Marina. She's the little octopus. She's kind of cute, too. Rex. Hmm, I'm not sure if I'm going to keep Rex. And... Ketchup. Ketchup is so cute. The cute little ducky. She's very cute. So yeah, I packed up Tom here. Uh, as you can see, I did his pattern on his ship. Uh, this was actually really fun to do. It was quite simple. Um, and I know his ship doesn't look exactly like his ship does on his little actual raccoon person. But I think it's kind of cute. I also gave him a bit of chest here. Because he's a raccoon and he has hair. 
but I think it's kind of creepy. So if it stays, I don't get rid of it. But just just so we're all on the same page, it is kind of creepy. I realise. So here I am at the end of my Tom Nook sketch, and in comes the twins. And now obviously the twins look exactly the same in the game, but I didn't really want them to be exactly the same in my drawing. And like, you can see I'm doing this weird like head shape at the bottom, because when you look at the raccoons they've got like a, they're a bit cheeky, and so I kind of wanted to keep in the cheeks if I could. And these guys have hair. I mean, I know they look the same as Tom Nook, right? And they all look bald on actual Animal Crossing. But I don't know, if they were people, I guess they'd have some sort of hair. And I, it made them look younger. So I play around with his face for a while. And then eventually I flip it and it looks awful. And I do a lot of playing around with his face again. I kind of just wanted them to be the same, but different. And I kind of wanted them to be like short and pudgy. I really do play around with their eyes and their face a lot. They're kind of cute though, right? See, see, ah, uh, <laughs> yeah. Gosh, I was asking you for tips, wasn't I? I just get so sidetracked so easily. So yeah, if you guys play Animal Crossing, do let me know what your beginner tips are. It's been a long, long time since I played Animal Crossing, and the Animal Crossing I played, I was not in control of my island. Mr. Nook was definitely in control of my island, and he just took all the credit for it. He took all my money. And he took all the credit for the, the, the wonderful island that we had built. Yeah. So yeah, in your island customizations and the little areas that you can now make on them, do let me know what your favourite area is. Because I'd really like to get some inspiration. And I started watching some YouTube videos. I did not realise how much Animal Crossing was all over YouTube. But I come across this YouTuber called... Oh, Froggy Crossing, I think it, it handle is. I'll link it down below anyway. But yeah, her YouTube videos are so cute. And they're so lovely to watch. And I just spend all day watching her videos. But if you watch anyone else, do let me know who you watch. And put them down in the comments. Because I'd really like to find more people to watch on YouTube. Something nice and relaxing. Just to sort of chill out to. And, and listen to as I work. Or hang out in the living room. And, customize my island. It does take a while, but I haven't got any paths or anything like that yet on my island. Um, I'm not sure if you get told when that happens or whether I've just got to work it out for myself. Um, but yeah, I started making an orchard the other day and I just, I've just sort of got trees <laughs> all over the ground. Um, it doesn't look anything as cute as all these islands that I see. Um, so yeah, do let me know. So back to my Timmy and Tommy. I think we're on the second one now. And I think this one's Tommy. I can't remember. Um, so here I am trying to give him a headband and some ears, and this took me a while. It just didn't go, it just didn't sit right on his head. I get there eventually. But out of the two, Tommy's your favourite, right? He has to be. He's so cute, and I know they're exactly the same, they look exactly the same. But isn't Tommy the one that does like the little like, hi, hi, in the background, isn't he? I just think he's adorable. In real life, and by real life I mean in the game where they're raccoon people, not human people. They look exactly the same. I understand. And I'm so sorry that I'm currently drawing off the screen. You'll see my sketches in a minute. I'll bring them right back. But I had to make them look different. I felt like I was cheating myself if I 
made them look exactly the same and and just copied and pasted the character. I mean I could have, but I didn't want to. So here he is with his cheeky little grin. Yeah, so I'm about to export them all and then I'm going to move them into a new canvas and do some colouring. I don't like to keep my artwork sort of sketchy. Sorry, I'm getting, I'm getting really distracted by watching myself right now. I'll be quiet for a moment. I just gotta say. Don't they all look cute together? Like I'm feeling this, I am absolutely feeling this right now. I also love how, I know I said it, be quiet, I just can't help it. And I really love how the twins look like twins, but they also look different. And I can hear you being like, yeah, Katie, they made it the same sketch, they look exactly the same. I know. But they're cute, right? Can't deny it. So, this is my line art. My line art is no more than my sketches. Made a little bit with purpose, I guess. Uh, I've tried the whole go back over the sketches with the actual line art, but... I don't know, I just, I feel this sort of like rough, natural, sketchy artwork. I really like it. Um, if you go back on my social medias, you'll see uh, what I did for Inktober last year and I, I worked through one of my OC characters and created some artworks from them and, and they're like, they're lined and made to look clean. And they're fine, they're okay, but... So now I'm trying to find a raccoon colour, whilst it also being a human colour. I get there. I'm just sort of watching. Um, I realise that if you have any questions, do leave them down below and then the next time I do a voiceover like this I will answer any of your questions. I love speed paints. I'm sorry. I'm a bit mem mesmerized by by watching myself draw. How strange is that? All right. So considering I'm getting so mesmerized by watching myself draw, I think I'll shut up and I will allow you to just watch the next couple of minutes. I will catch you back at the end for the big reveal. See you in a moment.
how you doing so this is the last little bit of coloring on my on my nook boys i just wanted to get some basic shading in there some basic colors make them all all cute give them a, some raccoon eyes as you can see with the timmy and tommy one has ears the other one has raccoon eyes there they are and this is my nut family what do you think of them please let me know down in the comments below and yeah thank you so much for watching if you've made it this far you are amazing and you can catch me on instagram or twitter i'm all over the place thank you again